This video will demonstrate an alternative method for modeling culverts with SRH2D by using terrain data to represent the culvert geometry instead of using a 1D embedded approach. We will view a model which used this method, examine how it was constructed, and compare the solutions with the results from an HY8 culvert. To clarify, the 1D embedded approach is modeled using arcs in a boundary conditions coverage. This method disables the mesh domain between the up and downstream ends and computes a 1D hydraulic solution for culvert flow that is then integrated with the 2D solution. An alternative approach to modeling culverts with SRH2D is to instead edit the mesh surface so that it closely represents the geometry of the culvert. A culvert defined in this way maintains a 2D solution throughout the model domain. This approach is best used for culverts which are simple in shape, such as box culverts, since the geometry is easier to represent with terrain data. Let's now examine the SRH2D project and the components used to model the culvert. Looking at the 2D mesh, we can see that the bathymetry has been modified to shape the bottom of the box culvert. The sides of the culvert are simulated using rectangular holes in the mesh, since SRH2D treats the edges of holes in a mesh as vertical walls. The top of the culvert is defined using a pressure flow boundary condition, which will be examined later. We will now investigate how the terrain data and the conceptual model were edited to represent the 2D culvert. We will be moving through the following parts fairly quickly, so if you'd like more detailed information about something we mention, please look to either the SMS Wiki or the SMS Learning Center tutorials. Links are provided in the description for this video. Terrain data is most easily edited in SMS when it has first been converted over to a scatter set. This scatter set had the original points within the area of the culvert replaced with points which better define the geometry of the culvert. Break lines were then used to force the triangulation of the scatter set so that it used those points. The result is a scatter set surface that can be used to interpolate elevation values to the mesh. We now move to the mesh generator coverage. Polygons in this coverage define areas of different mesh types for the model domain. The None type is used to create holes in the mesh to represent the culvert's vertical walls. It is possible to instead represent the culvert walls with the mesh surface by using a very steep slope and small elements. But for this model, the mesh holes method provides a simple alternative. We now move to the boundary conditions coverage. The culvert ceiling is defined by using a pressure flow boundary in this coverage, and flow over the top of the embankment is also configured with the overtopping option turned on. A roughness value between the water surface and the culvert ceiling is also defined here. We now move to the materials coverage. In this coverage, the culvert is assigned a roughness value using a feature polygon which covers the 2D flow area of the culvert. Together with the terrain data, these coverages provide the necessary geometry and parameter information to model the culvert using a 2D approach. An important step in using this method is to compare the 2D solutions with a 1D culvert model such as HY8. HY8 assumes a still pool condition at the entrance of a culvert, so the energy grade line should be considered in addition to the SRH2D results. This can be generated with the dataset calculator by adding the water surface elevation dataset to the velocity head, which is calculated using the velocity magnitude dataset.
One method for making comparisons between models in SMS is to use the observation coverage, which among other things enables the plotting of datasets along cross-sections and profiles of the 2D model. Here we see a profile plot of the culvert in the SRH2D model, which shows ground surface elevation, water surface elevation, and the energy grade line. The red shapes in the plot window give an aid to conceptualizing the culvert with the solution datasets and are defined using a polygon in a plot data coverage. We will briefly examine this coverage and how it is used in a plot. The polygon is placed to cover the spatial extents of the culvert. By opening the polygon's attributes, we see that it is defined as a culvert with elevations and heights that determine how it is viewed on a plot. The control for including the plot data coverage in a plot's display is located in step 2 of the plot wizard for observation profiles. Now that we understand how this profile plot is created, we will compare it to the water surface profile plot for a culvert modeled in HY8. Note from these plots that the energy grade line closely matches the headwater elevation in the HY8 plot. We also see that the downstream water surface elevation closely matches the tailwater elevation in HY8. This concludes the Modeling 2D Culverts with SRH2D video. Please visit the Federal Highway Administration's website or the SMS wiki pages to learn more.